Okay, we're going to do a bit of absolute references here. I've got a spreadsheet already here. So if you look here, we've got our ice cream flavors spreadsheet. You can pick up this exercise file. It's called the absolute references exercise file. You should find it on the same page. You can see we've got ice cream flavors, strawberry and banana, etc. It's really just making me hungry. Just look at this, isn't it? So if you look over here, we can see we've got a basic calculation. If I click in the total, you can see at the top, there we've got B2 multiplied by C2. We're going to put... Uh, a calculation in the tax. So basically, there's an ice cream tax. So we've already paid 7% on that, on that total amount. So 7% probably on the unit price. So in an essence, we want to know how much 7% of 30 pounds 45 pence is. So to do the calculation, uh, what I'll do is I'll zoom in initially so you can see it, and then type the calculation in there. So the calculation will be equals, and I'll click on the D2 multiplied or you can press shift and 8 on your keyboard and then click on cell G2 and the very next thing I'm going to do on the keyboard is press F4 on the keyboard and notice there it's put the dollar signs in one dollar before the G one dollar before the two what that in essence means is that it will keep that cell the cell G2 absolute so that when I come to autofill or copy it down by looking at dragging the little black or green dot depending on the version of Excel that you're using when I come to auto fill it down, it will always refer to G2 as G2. It won't slip down as to G3, etc. So press enter on the keyboard to put it in. You can see that I've got my total there of £2.13. Uh, just zoom back one more. So now if I come in and I go hover over this little black dot in the bottom right hand corner, or little green dot if you're using 2013, click and drag down to auto fill. When you let go, you can see the figures always coming from G2. Just to prove the point there, I click once on that cell. Just zoom in a bit. You can see D3 there times G2. Just zoom back a bit. So you can see that there. So there's the autofill X, uh, the absolute references exercise. If you want to find more information, then please go to www.computertutoring.co.uk.